And now, your first alert weather. Hey, good yawning. It's 647. Jeff Roper in the morning here with Dylan, Emma. We start the day with you and we'll be back at noon today. Make sure you go ahead and before you leave the house, DVR the noon broadcast or you can watch it on 8-4 as it replays here. We'll be here all morning on that channel. This cold front's going to come through today. It'll pick the winds up late tonight. It, mainly the high pressure bubble that has been to our south is keeping us high and dry, making for some beautiful sunrises. Jill and Leslie sent me this one as she was looking east and a little bit of cool whip on top of the hills there. We need some more snow around here and don't you know this outhouse is a little chilly. I bet that's where the husband hangs out when he when he's playing PlayStation. Uh, this is a live look at Ryrie. You can see the sun coming up. We may see some fog around this morning to start with along 26. Here's Idaho Falls at Lindsay Boulevard. It is headed toward Pocatello and you may see some cloudiness get in your way this morning, but it looks like it's a dry start with clear conditions and chill 26. Now this should normally be our afternoon high or thereabouts. We're going to be in the 50s again today. Uh, we do have some uh, fog anticipation over the next several mornings here with uh, our system that is uh, to our north that is going to be pushing in and bringing us some snow showers as we head into the weekend, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and especially on Monday. And I'll have that eight day forecast for you here in about a minute and 42 seconds. It feels like it's 22 degrees in Idaho Falls and Heisey to start with. You can see the fog of which I'm speaking in Jackson this morning there. And we need to, why, why isn't the, why are we lit up there into the park? We, we forget to flip the switch. Uh, feels like about 15. We need some lights over there, baby. 20 minutes in front of uh, eight when the sun will come up in the hole 32 in Driggs 23 there 26 IF 27 Blackfoot it's in the 20s this morning so even though the kids don't want to wear a jacket cover your head we don't need anybody getting sick you're just weeks away from another vacation, right? Uh, winds are light this morning. They'll pick up 10 miles an hour as we get this front in here by later on. So after this front comes through and a sunny day today, uh, we'll see 10 to 15 mile an hour winds tonight. So it's going to be chilly into the evening hours. You'll feel that. Let me outline the Viper cast for you. This stationary front and area of low pressure swirl around. Then we drop the moisture in here for late Saturday and more of it on into Monday as some of that cold air begins to deepen into the Pacific Northwest. So it'll start to feel more like December as we get into the weekend around here. I'll let you follow it one more time as you start Saturday afternoon into Sunday. Some mountain showers deepening and we'll start to see a rain snow mix into the valley for Monday with a pretty good chance of it as well being wet around here. 10 to 15 mile an hour winds gusting into the late night hours tonight and we start tomorrow with some fog as well and some breezes 5 to 10 miles an hour which will take us into the chill zone into Friday night for date night. It'll be 52 and after in today and Preston 51 in Lava and about 43 at Old Faithful Co approaching 50 degrees for Jackson and Driggs and right there in Rexburg as well. It will be below freezing tonight, so any kind of fog may freeze on the windshield and it'll feel like a donut icing again. 56 for salmon today, 30 tonight, freezing again into the overnights and that may freeze some of that fog this morning, but we're headed toward the, some unreasonably unseasonable highs at 20 degrees or more above normal, maybe even some record temps 56 for American Falls. It will be between 50 and 54 in Shelley and Firth today. Your local news eight day extended forecast. I've got some fog on the board. We'll go ahead and preface everything with that. So if you need extra time in the morning, be aware of it. It will be below freezing and we'll get into the 40s by Sunday with that rain snow mix around and shower chances deepening as we get into Monday and then we drop that cold air in here and we start to feel like December, December the tooth. Pocatello 57. Sunshine, fog is possible as we start tomorrow with uh, temperatures hovering around freezing. We'll be in the mid 40s uh, to lower 40s for Tuesday, Wednesday. Blackfoot, fog 54. We're popping up into Friday with it as well, and we'll be hovering around the 50 degree mark for the weekend before we get a good chance of showers in here for Monday for most everyone. Rexburg stays in the upper 40s to mid 40s and we drop it like it's chilly on into Monday with a 50 50 shot of some moisture. Salmon, it looks pretty foggy there on the camera. 56 and 29 tonight. We'll see good chances of some snow mixed with rain. There's the fog in Jackson. 52 today and our question of the day is colored or white lights 534 99 57. The world needs to know Dylan.